The first game in the famous Assassin's Creed series was released in 2007 and is based on the story of a modern man, Desmond Miles, who was put in a car called Animus to enter the world of his ancestors. More precisely, in the skin of the character Altair ibn Lahad, a member of the Assassins. Here, there is actually a battle between the Templars and the Assassins for the Apple of Eden, an ancient artifact that could control minds. The game is open world and can be played in the third person as Altair, who must perform a series of missions both main and secondary which include interrogation, listening, pickpocketing, or assassination. Also, to map the city, the player must climb high towers, the parkour activity being emblematic for the Assassin's Creed series. The second title in the Assassin's Creed series was released in 2009 and is actually the continuation of the first game, only this time the story no longer takes place in the Holy Lands but in Renaissance Italy. In Assassin's Creed 2, the player plays through the eyes of the character Ezio who is looking for those responsible for betraying his family. If in the first game the missions were limited to finding information and killing the target, this time the missions were based on a linear story. New elements were introduced, such as swimming. Eagle vision could be used and while the player was moving. The player could hire different groups of NPCs to fight or distract the guards and a day and night cycle was introduced. Also, the combat system has been improved being possible to disarm opponents or the player can raise any weapon from below or can use improvised weapons. So Assassin's Creed 2 was one of the best video games ever made and was the game that made the Assassin's Creed series popular selling over 9 million copies. Given the popularity that Ezio had in the previous game, the next two games also had Ezio as the main character. Thus, Assassin's Creed Brotherhood was released in 2010 and stars Ezio who becomes the boss of the Assassin's brother. Multiplayer mode was also introduced, which was quite innovative at the time. Changes have also been made to the combat system, the AI being much more aggressive. Enemies can attack simultaneously and striking first and offensive actions have more damage. Also, regarding the fighting system, horses were introduced that facilitated the fight to be much more advanced. The last game in the Assassin's Creed series that features Ezio in the foreground is Assassin's Creed Revelation, released in 2011. The story follows Ezio's attempts to find the secrets hidden by Altair. But to do so, he must collect a series of records that allow him to relive some moments in Altair's life. In terms of gameplay, a hook blade was introduced that was used to zip over buildings or attack enemies. A mini tower defense game has also been introduced, through which Ezio will have to defend these Templar territories. Assassin's Creed 3 was released in 2012 and is the sequel to Assassin's Creed Revelation. The game stars Desmond Miles, who takes over the memories of a new character, Connor Kenway. So the story of the game is based on Connor's attempts to save his hometown and avenge his mother, who was killed. The gameplay part has been much improved. Changes have been made in crossing the environments. Now the frontier is the largest part of the game world, having the opportunity to run on trees and animal hunting. At the same time, the naval combat system was introduced. The next big title in the Assassin's Creed series was released in 2013 and is about Assassin's Creed 4 Black Flag. The action is set mainly around the islands of the Caribbean and this time the main role belongs to Connor's grandfather, Edward Kenway. The main combat system is the naval one, with the possibility to explore cities or forests on foot. A multiplayer mode is also available, but only on the ground. Assassin's Creed Rogue was released in 2014 for PlayStation 3 and Xbox 360 on November 11, 2014 and March 10, 2015 for PC. The game is based on the story of Shay Cormac, an assassin who became a Templar after being betrayed by the members of the Brotherhood. And in this game is present the naval combat system with certain new features, such as naval exploration. 
missions and secondary activities were also reintroduced. In 2014, Ubisoft released Assassin's Creed Unity and has some connections to the previous game. The action is set in Paris during the French Revolution and follows the story of Arno Victor Dorian, who joins the assassins to investigate on behalf of his adoptive sister Elise de la Serre, the murderer of his father. The game keeps the same fighting system, parkour and stealth, but introduces a cooperative multiplayer mode. Also introduced for the first time in this series the ability to customize and improve the skills of the characters. Another successful title released by Ubisoft was Assassin's Creed Syndicate in 2015. The action of the game takes place in London, in the Victorian era. This time the player takes on the role of an initiate, as he tells the story of two twins, Jacob and Evie Fry, who try to take the city under the control of the Templars. In terms of gameplay, new travel systems have been introduced with the player having the opportunity to explore the city on foot or in a carriage and new combat mechanics. Assassin's Creed Origins was released in 2017, and its story takes place in ancient Egypt around the end of the Ptolemaic period. The main character is a Medje named Bayek, who left his native village Siwa to discover a certain mystery. This is how he arrives in ancient Egypt, where he discovers the origins of the conflict between the Brotherhood of Assassins, who fight for peace by promoting freedom, and the Templar Order, who want to establish peace by imposition. Also, the player can travel on foot, on horseback, on camel, by carriage, or by boat. The Eagle Vision mode has been replaced by an accompanying eagle named Senu, who can first explore an enemy area or search for resources. At the same time, a battle system was introduced in the arena in which the player fights with different enemies of different levels of difficulty. Assassin's Creed Odyssey was released in 2018 and uses the same graphics technology as Origins. The action of the game tells the secret history of the Peloponnesian War between the cities of ancient Greece. So in the main role is a mercenary named Alexios or Cassandra who have the opportunity to choose to be on the side of Athens or Sparta, but also against the Cosmos cult. In this game, the emphasis was on the role-playing game, which includes dialogue options, branch missions, or different endings. In 2020, Ubisoft released Assassin's Creed Valhalla, starring Eivor, a Viking who fought in the Norwegian invasion of England. The game brings new features such as raids, settlement development, customizing and modernizing the settlement with new buildings such as barracks, blacksmiths, all while recruiting new members to grow your clan as well as expanding influence in England. The attacks are more action-packed and brutal than anything you've seen so far in the Assassin's Creed series. Players can also take part in activities such as drinking games, hunting, or traditional Norse games such as flighting. This was the Assassin's Creed series. Don't forget to share this video and tell us in the comments what was your favorite title from the series.